Hello everyone, welcome back to the Steel Donut Collective. My name is Connor, and with me today we have the whole crew. We have Bob. Hey, this is my new intro line. Blake. Hello everybody. Matt. I'm a man of magic. <laughs> and Yawa. Good day. Because we are back in angst much, and this is chapter 12. <laughs> yeah. Breakfast <laughs> at Rarity's. Oh, man. I, 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 this is a chapter I've been dreading personally. Clever reference. Actually, it is kind of clever because knowing what's in the title, it, it kind of references what goes on. Well, me and my beer are ready to get started. Yeah. Once again, this story's slowly turning me into Drax. So let's see. Chapter 12, Breakfast at Rarity's. As the bits flowed in from royalties, ranging from his music sales to the newest innovations based off his mana cell technologies, Jax uh, found himself to suddenly be a rather wealthy uh, pony. Uh, he achieved, he achieved his wealth the true through no work way. of his own. Yeah, through just, just cheating off of other people's yeah. accomplishments. I, I totally forgot that happened last... last. Go, 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 groan! <laughs> Yeah. While the sources of his newfound income was known only to his closest friends, he took pains to make sure he did not change. He still acted the same old friendly pony, oh, you should have changed, and still oh. dressed the same as he always had. In only a kilt. Great. Yeah. Maybe, you know what, he should have changed in both his actions and his dress code. Yeah. Is he really, he's really, like, okay, so he's, he's banged three ponies. Yeah. He's got superpowers beyond the god of this universe, but he still has to make himself rich? Of course. Yeah. What's yeah. the point of money if you can just strong arm your way into any situation? It feels good to have high numbers on your bank account. <sighs> yeah, man. Okay. Come on, come on. Listen to the money talk. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, feel the noise. The only real show of his new wealth was to build a house for himself and Pinky to live in. It was a cozy affair, nestled uh... just inside the Everfree Forest, not far from Fluttershy's home. Like the library, it was built into a living tree and resembled Fluttershy's cottage, yet with the usual Pinkie Pie flair. <laughs> Oh. Even even when he's doing something nice, he has to abuse a tree. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Um, I recently came back from vacation. I was visiting my family up in Maryland. And my, you know, like... Your family you know, my, lives in a living tree? No, my very yeah. young cousins were watching My Little Pony. Uh-huh. And, and you saw Drax! <laughs> no, no, it's no, but like seriously, it just it it really did like make me even more pissed than I was before, if that's possible. Yeah. They, because they didn't know what. Oh, well, just because it's you know like watching it, these were apparently like the newest episodes. It's super for little kids now. If it wasn't before, it definitely is now. Like straight at like the they the cut Nick all the Junior sex crowd. scenes out. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. No, so no, I'm, I'm trying to make a serious point here. Okay, my point I'm, is just yeah, that my my point is just that it. It, it really just makes this even more ridiculous. It's like, this is so much for little kids and has nothing to do with all this, the sex and violence that he wants to introduce to it. And it's just, it's so awful. It's such a perversion. Yeah. It's like, look, you can enjoy whatever you want, but this is for little kids. Not only is it, it doesn't have nothing that could really be that entertaining to someone who's an adult, but why ruin it for kids? Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. sitting here, like, my cousins are watching this and laughing, and I'm just thinking about Drax screwing every pony in sight the whole time. How awful. He ruined your life. Yeah, exactly. A garden of sweet berries and other fruits grew around it, so that the party pony always had something sweet to add to special recipes. The inside oh. was decorated mostly in a perpetual party. Bright colors and mostly. blooms painted on every surface, as well as colorful decorations all around. Oh. Party City. Nobody gives you more party for less. Is there, is there a, a plastic skeleton and a, yeah, uh, and a skeleton? <laughs> is there a plastic skeleton and a noose there to hang yourself? Because that's the only yeah. party city I know of. Yeah, I started. I started seeing bodies everywhere, and then there was a noose in my basement. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bodies everywhere on the ground. They were doing this weird dance where their ass would move up and down. It yeah. was weird. <laughs> there was even a small dance floor for guests to enjoy. See, it's like, it's like guests. It's like, yeah. Yeah. it's like two feet by two feet. It's just like a like essentially a box. No, it's yeah. a five by five. All right, that's where yeah, they. Yeah. So a there's a, no, after yeah. the uh, after the biannual fighting tournament or whatever, they took that five by five ring and moved it into Drax's house. Mm -hmm. to add, dance a, add a disco ball and you're done. Yeah. <laughs> the house was close enough for Pinky to still reach the shop easily. He had afforded enough solitude that Drax could unwind in his natural, excuse me, his natural form without the fear of discovery. He kept a study where he. Why does he even want to be? Why does he even fucking care about his fucking human form? <laughs> Seriously. 
because now he's like ripped and he's got like giant. He can just like mind wipe oh, yeah. anybody who doesn't. I don't, don't want to lose this. I mean, <laughs> he could just mind wipe anybody he wants, anyways. Probably. I'm probably. Guessing. Yeah. Here come the men in black. Or the men in black. Every push up I do with this ripped toned body reminds me of the push ups I couldn't do with my <laughs> fat 40 year old body. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cheap shot. He kept a study where he tinkered on new gadgets and recipes, and kept it as the calm center in the riot of color that was Pinkie Pie's decorating. Only mm. bare wood for the furniture and walls, and he resisted adding any decorations other than his shelf of books that Twilight had given him. Pinkie ran the house, but this was his sanctuary. And his sanctuary had to be as Spartan as possible. I like, I like that even though he supposedly, like, loves her and lives with her and, like, all that stuff, he still he has a, a sanctuary. sanctuary. Like, he, it's yeah. not, like, it's not just, like, a place for him to have a little bit of solitude every once like in a while. Like a man it's cave? It's sanctuary. Otherwise, yeah. it's terrible for him. <laughs> it's the worst. Wow. And I understand why. She sounds obnoxious as hell. I guess I guess he needs to he needs to he needs to mind change her some more like yeah, yeah. a little she's more she's not done being him yet <laughs> this mind yeah. needs work <laughs> yeah she still worked part time at the bakery but Drax himself had given up his job to pursue his own hobbies now what, what job, job? Uh, oh, what he, fucking job? He well, got, went on no, a giant no, ass no, tirade no, last no, chapter, no, so his, I'm not going to do anything this time. But. No, his job was um, helping out at the bakery. Like he invented that amazing breakfast no. menu of like one his, sandwich. Oh my god, his, I'm not going to call that a job. His <laughs> job, his job was to participate in the an biannual fight club. I'd like you, you to hire me as the ideas guy. You don't do anything, and you didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing changed, again, except I you already, got rich. I so she's... Did all this shit see, look, but no, look, yeah. it even says here, before leaving, he trained a new cook to keep up the shop's new menu. Yeah, of, like, one sandwich. Stop I making it this. sound like you did anything. <laughs> does, does Celestia collect taxes? Because if she I doesn't, I don't know why you need a job. I don't think she uh, does. You yeah, have yeah. a house. Dude. You can also manifest things at will. I mean, like, you You're don't need to God, buy lumber basically. to build a house. You can just protect. make one appear. So, so like, you don't need a job to pay for anything. You can make food, shelter, and clothing for yourself whenever you want. Of course, uh. of course they collect taxes, okay, man? This isn't a communist utopia. He could just make money, then. <laughs> It's a <laughs> capitalist society. Yeah, haven't you ever watched My Little Pony? Yeah, Friendship come on, haven't you ever magic? watched My Little? You don't even need to read between the lines, man. It's yeah. right there. <laughs> yeah, that episode yeah. where I don't know, like Fluttershy remember, got evicted because yeah. she didn't pay her rent. Remember the episode <laughs> with the IRS? Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The IRS. Ugh, I'm trying to come up with the horse puns IRS. and I can't. I can't. Yeah, no, I got nothing. It's the IPS IRS. internal pony service. Haha. -ha. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There you go. Anyway, so he trained a new cook, an old Earth pony. With I'm pretty brain... sure Drax runs the internal pony service. Yeah. Oh yeah. god. Wink, wink. I'm talking yeah. about sex with horses. Wink. An old Earth <laughs> pony with graying mane and old scars from forgotten battles. He. The fuck. Uh, Wait, how could they be? They must have happened pretty uh, recently, unless he's like thousands of years old. So they couldn't forgotten. have been forgotten. Was there ever a war in a in a, in a quest? Right? Is this yes, a yes, veteran? Yes. La As the editor, I can tell you. Back in chapter ten, they talked about when a human came in before oh, and fucked right, the whole right. place up. Yes, yes, yeah. okay. But uh, yeah, you're what right. what, what, what I no, what I will say here is like Drax. I know that forgotten battle sounds cool, but there's no way they could be forgotten because he probably just has a normal pony lifespan. They would have happened recently enough that people would remember, unless yeah. they were mind wiped. So Drax. He legit, like, he just hired a veteran? Yes. yes. That's yeah. fucking weird. No, man, he wants to support our veterans. He doesn't want to see them homeless yeah. on the yeah, street. Come on, dude. That's still it's... weird. Yeah. You had anyway. to insert that in your chapter? That's... He went by the name of Cookie, me out and his cutie mark was that of a rolling pin and a wooden spoon crossed. A Played rolling to be a veteran pin and of... a gun. Yeah. Me to be a veteran. Like he has one job in life, better make him a soldier. Yeah. He's going to make a, a souffle and the souffle is going to pop and it's going to remind him of grenades and helicopters oh, and ah oh, you'll have die a PTSD for the flashback. <laughs> Thor. 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 The horse, Claiming to be a veteran the of the war, he often the rambled horse. on about old battles, yet no pony could remember any war within the last 1,000 years. Despite huh. his odd behavior, he could cook a meal from almost anything and soon surpass Drax's own cooking fame. Yeah, wow. his fame. So, he was I so famous was for inventing fuck. the sandwich. 
Drax yeah, came yeah. to this world I and became Elon Musk this. mixed with Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> They're like, oh my gosh. They're, like, like everyone's just like, like his fame, like everyone around town is like, oh man, have you had the new McMuffin? Yeah. Two things. <laughs> Two things. One, he easily surpassed Drax on cooking fame because Drax has none. Yeah, I was two. Gonna, I was gonna now say. Drax is two for two in getting me interested about things in the story, and neither of them have anything to do with him. That's true. <laughs> there's a war that another human caused, and there's battles that this horse went to. This yeah, horse. But this, no, what but, are those? But but it's been what like are a those? thousand years. Yeah. Well, no I one mean, could remember one. about it. Honestly, all the. All, all the weird details on that guy makes me convinced that if he's not a reference to the show that I don't know, he's a reference to a fanfic I don't know. He's a reference to, like, yeah, yeah Drax's friends. Like, here's, Fallout here's, Equestria. <laughs> yeah, that's that's probably the case. But I, I just like the idea that in Equestria, there's this dude walking around covered in, like, scars. And, like, he's got, like, he's missing an arm or something. And he's like, I remember fighting in a war, but I don't remember the war at all. And everyone just goes, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He's he's rambling on about old battles, but he can't remember the war at all. And everyone just goes, eh, I don't oh. remember it. Either. Must have just really slipped weird. my mind. Yeah, hey, man. They don't like to and think it's about a shame. it. It's a peaceful place. It's a shame nobody knows how to read or write, or else we maybe would have written something down about that. Last time yeah, anybody but... tried to write anything, all they got down was "Dear Celestia," and then just <laughs> stopped. <laughs> Dear Princess Celestia, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just I just want to say I'm more interested now in this cookie person yeah, exactly. than I am. It's like exactly. can we get a Drax, uh, can we get a side angst much side story about cookie? Like that sounds way more interesting. Yeah, that'd be yeah. amazing. Yeah. Well, here, Actually, uh, I'm just gonna Google this. You keep well, going. While, while you while you do that, I'm I'm gonna try and keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Despite all this, the Dark Alicorn was still troubled by some things. Mm. The prophecy had ceased to bother him, as his life drifted into one of quiet <laughs> Like it days. ever bothered him anyway. <laughs> oh, what uh, thing related to the plot doesn't even bother him anymore? <laughs> there is no plot! As his life drifted into one of quiet days, and rowdy nights with his personal party planner at his side. But still, uh. he was troubled. Yes. By what? By, by just general angst, he's been an an, an angsty edge lord his whole life. He he can't let it go by, that by easy. general. Yeah, he can't smangst. not be angsty, even when he has nothing to be angsty about. He has to. He uh, has to be. Angsty. I'm married. I'm married. I have a beautiful house. I don't have to work because I get mad royalties. Uh, Why? Why? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, never mind. This is what troubles him. This is. Oh my god! This is one of the worst things in this story. As he walked into the dress shop, he was greeted graciously by the unicorn proprietor. Greetings, Drax, darling. It's been so long since you've graced my shop with your presence. She, she whipped her mane while misspelling a mane. Long mane. <laughs> she whipped her mane back and forth. Before she whipped yeah. her mane. Yeah, I was about to do that. And so I noticed the misspelling. She whipped her mane to show its curls to full effect, fluttering her lashes at him demurely. Oh. Whatsoever uh. could I do for you? Okay, uh, Bob, you know how you've been putting X's on everyone's face to show mm -hmm. that like their character's been destroyed? You yeah, better yeah, prepare yeah. your biggest, Oh, no, yeah, X. for sure. Yeah, I, yeah, I had that ready to go on rarity, the thumbnail. Rarity, get, the, the, rarity gets destroyed in this chapter. The thumbnail yeah. is just going to be an X. Yeah, no, I've um, already, I already have that thumbnail rendered, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Let's God. get into it. Rarity... I've been thinking. I'm scared now. He thought. No, why? Oh, no. He began slowly, still not sure how to approach the subject that had been troubling him the past few months. Oh, Jesus. We really need to have a talk about something. No. Something, something really important. No, we don't. Something private. No. <laughs> no. No, no, no. That's... That's when you stop Just, right there. You're, you're, Drax you're, ever <laughs> tells you we need to have a conversation. I need to tell you something that I've been thinking about. It's really important. That's when you just walk away. You do not have that conversation. You get you know, out. Rarity, you I leave. managed to phone everyone in town but you. So. Oh no. He looked across the shop, now larger than when he had first came to Ponyville. I'm typing with one <laughs> hand again. Yeah. Dresses were arrayed in racks, as Rarity had progressed from merely a dressmaker to a fashion designer. Three seasons of being a dressmaker and suddenly Drax shows up and BOOM! Her business explodes. Yeah. Well, did Drax have anything to do with this, though? Did Just she acquire being success around with all that did, was required. Did she acquire success without his help and or permission? Maybe that's what's been troubling them. Oh, oh no. <laughs> no, no. no. 
No, it's just yeah. he visited the shop once, and then from then on, you know, all these women Rarity. would enter to buy dresses, and they'd be like, "Oh, what's that lovely smell?" Rarity, um, yeah, Rarity, um, I'm, I'm tired of you working independently. I think we need to strike a deal. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make you an offer you uh, can't uh, refuse. Damn it, I was going to be. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you can't refuse. <laughs> you do the better uh, voice, anyway. Yeah. So. I I do the best one, but. Um, I'm, I, I you, will actually I do will it. Make cool oh, wait, yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's the best one. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, he's the me, the godfather. <laughs> that's pretty good. All right, so uh, to a fashion designer, dresses were now made by a team of expert seamstresses, and she designed them for the masses. Success had, done her, success had done her well. No longer making a dress at a time for individual clients, she now designed clothing for all of Equestria. Sweatshops! Sweatshops. <laughs> no, or it could just oh, be shit. employed seamstresses. Designed them for the masses. I I think Rarity's the kind of person who would use sweatshops. God, remember remember no, that. No, no, don't that, turn to drags, that, Bob. Remember that hot yeah. diggity demon animation from like years ago? That was no. like had Rarity in a sweat uh, running a sweatshop? I I guess it came true. I do, I remember I it. I guess so. Um, hmm. He finished his inspection, setting on the white, settling on the white uniform, now blank-faced and professional. Her voice was still full of, it is, you got it's right earlier and you screwed it up here. It's usual refined charm. However... Yes, dear, I can see something is amiss. Let me just close the shop for lunch and we can talk privately. She made her way over and locked the front door, turning over the sign to indicate she was closed. Not her shop, her... <laughs> She is closed off of humanity. <laughs> Returning or to the Don't worry, Drax will open her up. No. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Bob. That's why I was trying to trying to. Woo! I, I was Woo! throwing the ball in your court, and I was hoping you just Wink. slam dunk. Yeah, I got a home run. Returning to the table where she had been sitting before he entered, <laughs> she motioned the stallion over to join her. So now, tell me, what could possibly be troubling you? Here it is. Drax sighed. Oh, no. Just like his incident years... What? Just years? Like, just like his years. incident years earlier with Pinky, he dreaded having to do this. But his then don't do him, it. But his instincts told him he ne it needed to be done. Years. Don't listen. Don't listen to your fucking instincts. Also, <sighs> years. 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 Yeah, years have passed. I don't remember years. that. Okay, fine. How is this the first time we've heard how long you've been? No, no, in the last chapter, he said, like, like all this time has gone by, and here's all the things he's done. And, I heard and, months. Yeah, but months yeah, turn I into years, months. man. Hey, man, you I know, guess. time flies. Bullshit! Months never born. turn into years. 58 <laughs> months, man. That's yeah, what he meant. That's a lot of years. 28 months right. later, you know? Right. Oh. Yeah. That famous movie? <sighs> Let's do this. I'm scared. Rarity, why do you hate me? Because you're an awful human being. Wow. Well, okay. let me well, list off just... these reasons. Okay. Go there. <laughs> I have, we have a list oh, right here. You know, my 12-step program told me that I needed to ask Hold you this on. question. I figured you would ask eventually. I have this book full of reasons. Okay. Uh, oh, you Hold see on. this? No, this is just the first installment. Let me get the others. Let me get yeah. the other volumes. It's an entire series. Yeah. You read Lord of the Rings? It's about that long. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh man. Ooh. So... I, I I'm not. I, I hope this isn't a controversial statement, but Rarity showed absolutely no signs of any of the things she's about to exhibit in the previous chapters. This um, is a complete record. If off. anything, as she the, wanted his big old D. This is the. I I I just want to say I've edited every video, and the only sign she's ever given Drax was when he sat down to tell everyone the story in chapter seven. She looked at him kind of weird. That's the yeah, only well. sign that she's done any more than just lust after his D. Yeah. yeah Drax, wow. w when, when you come up with an idea for a chapter and you're like, hey, this is completely at odds with every trait this character has exhibited previously, you don't just do it. You either go back and <laughs> edit the previous chapters to add things. Like, like mean, you could have you could have said, hey, I, the story, I've been, you could have said, hey, I'm, I've been writing this, you know, sort of, you know. And things have changed as I've written it. I'm going to go back and change the previous chapters. I want to reread those because what I'm going to do here is a little bit different than what I've done before with this character. You could have done that. Or you could have just not gone on this ridiculous you, mark. You're about and to And you go know what? On. I'll even give you a third option. You could have written into this chapter, like, you've just given us years have passed that you haven't written about. So you could just say, over the years, he had noticed rarity change. Done. A oh. single sentence, and it's fine. 
Your only a- interactions so far have been you met her, and like everyone else, she sniffed it after your ass. Yeah. Uh, and then she that looked at you kind of musk. weird. And then she's Ugh. been gone from the story since. Yeah. This mm. is, once again, just retroactive. Not only, and not only is it a retcon, but it's a retcon just so that way he can make himself look better. There's no other reason for this like, to happen. This, this is the thing that really pisses me off, is like that. Like, yeah. this is not only a retcon that, like you said, makes him look better, but it's one that's not ever hinted at, just like you guys were talking about. Just this whole thing just makes me mad. Oh yeah, and and, and if you if you don't have to take my word on him doing this All to right. make himself yeah. look better, let's keep going. You'll see. I specifically requested the opposite of this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's She's... all I can say. Let's see. She started shocked at the unexpected reply. At first, she thought it was another one of his twisted jokes that only he seemed to understand. I mean, he is pretty twisted. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, hey Matt, or, bring all that happened into the room. Then she saw him looking her straight in the eye. <laughs> and and then he put out a crisp one hundred dollar bill. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what? What on earth gave you the idea that I would hate you? You are my dear friend. I owe so much to you for all you have done for me in my shop. Because of wow. you, I now own a dozen shops across Equestria. Wow. Who sell designs Woo. by rarity is a household name in every Damn. city. Does he run the like... equivalent of Shark Tank on this in in, in the quest? <laughs> yeah, so Why does he, he just get the credit for that? <laughs> like, like he's just like, all right, here's what I'll do. I think your business has potential, so I'm gonna buy you twelve more shops. Is he the yeah. is he the equestrian Mark Cuban? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, he helped yeah. Pinkie Pie he, expand he, or whatever. He, he, he... He's invested in everyone's business. He's like the he's like a mogul. What is this? Damn. We gave him a li- almost gave him credit earlier when it's like you know Connor was like maybe she acquired her success entirely independently of him but no you have to no, make us look like fools Drax. entirely you have to make him. us look like fools for giving you even the slightest bit of credit <laughs> yeah Every- turns out everything is about him you Whoa. fucker where did Whoa, that what come a from surprise. <laughs> Yeah, it, yeah. I mean, this this fanfic is pretty much just like a Paris Hilton movie. It's just like, look how great Paris Hilton is. Isn't she great? But the movie's <laughs> awful, and she doesn't the care. The movie's because terrible. She, she's just hired actors to tell her that she's cool and pretty and awesome. This is quintessential Gary Stu. Yeah. Yeah. She paused for yeah. breath, looking rather flushed. Ever since that silly song of yours was released, every pony in Equestria wants those silly bikinis. Uh, <laughs> and it was me that provided them thanks to your designs she looked at him and, he yeah, designed looked, bikinis god mm-hmm. she looked at him yeah. sternly what on earth would make me hate you after you have done all this for me perfectly legit question yeah, yeah, still that's, staring that's a pretty good question yeah I say the ball is in your court now, Drax. And no offense, you don't have a great arm. That's not a. I think you guys. No, that's not a legit question. What are you guys talking about? Have you? Did you read the rest of the story? Well, I mean, okay. A few years ago, from... he mind fucked two of her friends. Two, but she, okay. True, but she doesn't she know doesn't, about that. She isn't aware. And he actually fucked two of her other friends. But she may not know about that she either. Wanted she wanted to fuck know, him as well. What she does well, know I mean, is that he invested a lot in her business and caused her to become a, a runaway success. I what suppose. the reader knows, she knows, is that he invested in her business and caused her to become a runaway success. Nothing about, oh, you mind fucked two of my friends. Nothing about, like, oh, you did fuck two of my friends. I mean, Rainbow Dash was perfectly fine with him fucking Pinkie Pie, so. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. What, again, what the reader knows, she knows, is blank. Yeah. yeah. Still staring at the pale pony, he never so much as twitched a muscle during her rant. It's not really a rant. Finally, he spoke up in the no. same tired voice. That wasn't a rant. She was praising you. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? To be man? fair, praising Drax. Bob, is I got a, some dra- things to praising, say. Okay? Praising Drax okay? is always yeah. a chore. Bob, I got some things to say. So sit down, okay? Ever since you and I started making videos, we've made the best fucking videos of all time. You know, you <laughs> provide the I, best fucking commentary of all time. You know. Me- uh, all right, sorry, I had to r- get that rant off my chest. Oh yeah, well, Connor. Ever since we started hanging out, you know, it's just been toxic. Right. Brian and Kelly Slater, we've been the best of friends, and that's what I think about you. All right, you know what? All I right. gotta say this to all you guys. You're all my best friends. Everything has gone so well. 
Air all the time I've known you. I'm just, ah, just. You're my best <laughs> friends. My best I gotta let you know. You guys that. are sorry, more than friends to me. That. You're coworkers. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, can you please stop all that angry ranting? I'm getting scared. I'm not angry. I'm very passionate about working with you guys. Oh, yeah. You yeah. Let me tell you something, Yella. You I need care to about know you. How much of a friend you are to me? You fuck. Uh, okay. The steel donut is the thing I'm most proud of. <laughs> I'm sorry for being such a good friend. I'm happy to have met you, all of you. <laughs> I feel, the exact same. I feel the same way, man. I feel the same way as you. I don't know where I'd be if I hadn't met you boys, but I know it wouldn't have been as great as this. <laughs> but, but Every please, day, please, I wake up please take and I'm so thinking I'm so much passionate one, ranting at once. Uh, I can't okay. breathe. I mean... <laughs> hey, Yella, wait, don't breath. Don't breath. Uh, Come on, don't breath. I need to breath or else I die. Oh, there we go. For just your like sake. In that one vid I hope oh, you don't like breath. What video. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, oh. sorry. Okay. All right. Oh, All right. give me a second. Just give me a second. Yeah. <sighs> well, I know how to make you stop laughing. No, I'm good now. Right. Don't talk. Right. Okay, just go. I'm good now. <laughs> Rarity. You cans fool a fool. Oh, God. Are you good. typing with T9? I don't know what that meant, but that was good. <laughs> it's oh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, at, at the end of this, he's like, sorry, I wrote this on my phone, my flip phone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know people, and I know ponies. I can read them like Twilight reads a book. You could just say, um, I can read them like a book. You can no, just say I can like read my Twilight reads a book because you actually, can't you should, read books. Actually, actually you shouldn't actually you shouldn't say that because you can't. You yeah, can't do say, this. You can't True read too. books. And right now I can read you. Right now you are being as polite to me as you would to any annoying customer that dared to tell you how to do your job. What? There is no love in it. What? There is no happiness or welcome. Huh? Just a carefully modulated voice covering a loathing that you cannot afford to let show. Well, what? Really, I can back. afford to show my what? loathing for you. The character, what? and to yeah. some extent, the author, too. Speaking of yeah. which, well, I'm excited for that interview later. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, the character yeah. and author are one and the same, so... I mean, yeah, well, you, 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 now Rarity's got all this behind her, so, I mean, you know, uh, figure out how to do that, I guess. He le he leaned oh, back. Okay. Yeah, he leaned back. Uh, yeah. Lit some spliff. You, yeah. <laughs> you really should have been a actress instead, Rarity. Typing with one hand. What's up with all the sudden typos? Are you actually getting off to this? Like, what's he? Yeah, he gets on? off to his to his like revenge chapters. Wait, is he yeah, gaslighting Rarity? Rarity? Yeah, kind of. That's his yeah. dude. Gaslighting is his fetish. It is my signature technique. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Excuse me, I just want to take a quick spritz. It's been a while. I just got to take a quick spritz of this. Oh one. yeah. It, well, I finished my beer like five mm. minutes ago, so <laughs> so good. Continue. I'm kind of wishing I had another. And the unicorn just stared at him, a look of shock playing on her face. <laughs> she's just wondering where all this came from, where he gets this from. Like, she's, she's like, just yeah, this she, all hell. She's like, We're actually, you're really three. bad at reading me, because that's not at all how I feel. Yeah. I'm, I'm genuine, Drax, I'm genuinely thankful for all the stuff you've done for me. Look at me, I'm a huge fucking success. No, at the ice no, and diamonds. I, I can tell it all behind your eyes. <laughs> Right. Whatever. <laughs> so I am going to ask you again, and I hope that you have the decency to give me an honest answer. Whoa. So far, every filly that's crossed my path has fawned over me, yep. despite my best attempts to steer them away. <sighs> Even Fluttershy, who is too scared to approach me, is obviously infatuated with Fuck me. Fuck you. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. This whole thing is just to make him look better. The reason he knows that she hates him is because she doesn't want to fuck him. What a complete egotist. And it's not even true, because she also was like, hmm, is he taking girls? Mm, like, that, that happened. 
The only reason it hasn't happened more is because she hasn't been relevant since then. Like, seriously, that's how you know that she hates you, because she doesn't want to fuck you. Like, you insecure idiot. Yeah. You um, buck a strawberry. You buck yeah. a fucker. It's 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 like it's like when a guy you know accuses a woman of being gay because she is not interested in him. It's, right. Mm -hmm. Or it's like when she doesn't text so back within up. the minute. You know. Exactly. It's just fucked like, up. Like he had like this story's written to where literally every woman loves him except for her, and that's how he knows. Like, hey babe, you look hot. Hey, is your phone broken? Wow, no wonder you can't get a date with that shitty conversation skills, you ugly whore. Like, <laughs> yeah, pretty exactly. much. That's all sent within like two minutes. Like, yeah, I'm, like, imagine what it must be like to be so insecure. You write a story where every woman except one loves you, and then you completely diss that woman. Yeah. 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 Like, holy crap. <sighs> she can't even talk and look at me at the same time. Wow. But you... Every time I talk to you, you either become a professional robot or a total ice queen. I mean, that's her, you know what? That's her prerogative. She is allowed to not like you. you no, can everyone just has to like me. Suck it. Yeah, you can just you're suck it up and like live me. your fucking nope. life. Nope. Nope. Are you even listening to yourself? Nope. Uh, <laughs> nope. Uh, nope. Uh, no. Uh, I, I want to know why. Right now, I would like to still consider you my friend. But that can easily change. Oh, wow. I mean, that if, is a if I were, threat. If yeah. I were her, my response would be like, okay, sure, let's change that then. Bye now. Yeah. Like, oh no, bye now would result in your death. You ever seen what happens to people who get off my friends list, Rarity? You ever <laughs> fucking see what happens, Rarity? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's shit. like the plot to May all over again. He gave her a solemn look that brooked no argument. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. I don't even know mm. what... What that what that was supposed to be that no I no I've argument. heard the phrase brook no ar argument it's just yeah I've heard really uncommon I've, heard that too. I've never yeah. heard that phrase before it's I've only heard it like once once or twice uh, brook no ar to brook no argument means you won't tolerate any argument yeah to not tolerate yep yeah it brooke is an actual to, thing brook means to stand endure abide or stomach. So, yeah, so uh, brooking no argument means you tolerate no arguments. That's a weird So it is for this it is actually though. yeah, it's weird to use here, but it is not incorrect. Okay. Suddenly the shock faded to be replaced by a grim determination. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. <clears throat> you want the truth, dear Draxy? Do you really want the truth? No. She she threw her hooves up. Yeah. Fine. But on one condition. She pointed at him with a dainty hoof. Mm -hmm. I know how you value your honesty. So I know you will not lie to me. Now swear. Swear to me that, I will t that what I tell you will never leave this room. What I have to say concerns dear friends of mine. And I will not see them hurt because of your bullheaded insistence on the truth. Note that she can't even insult him without saying, "Oh, you're such an honest person." Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. God, man! I that's I a front-handed because... insult instead of a backhanded compliment. I only hate you because I hate everyone. It's just the way I am. Drax, God. what you, Drax, what you got to do is you got to go up, walk, look in the mirror, and say, "Hey, you're a good guy. You have to learn how to compliment and love yourself, and not just write mm -hmm. characters that will always do it, even when they hate you." Front-handed insult. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that's good. I like that. Yeah, that's <laughs> it took me a second. It took me a second. Wow. Thank you. Jax merely nodded, replying, I swear. <laughs> By the moon and the sun and the stars, I'll be there. <laughs> By the power of Grayskull. <laughs> <laughs> he would say that, too. We already sat oh, back, God. composing herself, and staring back at the dark allegory before her. She waited passively. Oh. He waited passively for her response, and it was quick in coming. Oh, well, okay. I guess he didn't wait passively for too long, then did he? Yeah. It's like he waited passively for two yeah. seconds. Why even? Why even talk about it? Yeah. Oh well. Here we go. <clears throat> the truth is, I don't hate you, Drax. Oh, well, there we go. Well, that was quick. All right. <laughs> wait, wait. I don't hate Drax. <laughs> Listen, I hate Dracodus Maximus. <laughs> wait, wait, guys, guys, guys. Let's just let him get through this. 
Wait, wait. Okay, are we going to ignore Connor's great reference there? Actually, no. <laughs> forget it. Don't let him get through this. Just <laughs> like, are we going to well, ignore okay, that? That was, was great. Now on, yes, yeah. From, yeah. From from now on, he can get through it. Oh, you you don't like you don't like uh you don't you don't like me? Why don't you like me? Oh, maybe because you gaslight my friends, and uh, maybe you'll like a taste of your own medicine. You stupid idiot. <laughs> you baka fucker. Yeah, you baka fucker. <sighs> At least I don't hate who you are, but what you are is a different matter. You are a creature that does not belong in Equestria. Mm -hmm. Every day I see yeah. you, I must fight down mm -hmm. the urge to rail at your very existence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wow. And what, Me too. And what's more, I hate what you do. What oh, you wow. and Pinky have done has made a mockery of love. Yeah, totally. It is yeah. an abomination. I agree. Jesus. Wow, she's on wow. point today. Wow, rarity is us right now. She slammed her hooves on the table, anger rising in her voice. Mm. You come into the lives of my friends, and you turn the magic of friendship into a disgusting mockery of debauchery and evil. That's what wow. I was talking about. Ruining the yeah. show. Just ruining the <laughs> show. Dang, she's yeah. on point today. Where do you leak? <clears throat> pony is meant to be with Pony. Oh my and God. you have destroyed oh, that simple truth go. with your relationship with my okay, friends. Okay, that wasn't the problem. Uh, I see them fawning over you. I see you and Pinkie Pie together, and it makes me want to vomit. Wow, me too. Back on point, yeah. Yeah, back on point. Ta Tao don't deserve her, and you are polluting her life by being here. Yeah. Wow, that yeah, back on point. is why I hate what you are. Guys, yeah, I mean, can, I, can I speak? Can I speak directly to Drax for a second here? Sure. <clears throat> the truth is. I don't hate you, Drax. At least I don't hate who you are. <laughs> but what you are is a different matter. You are a creature that does not belong on the internet. Every day I see you, I must fight down the urge to rail at your very existence. And what's more, I hate what you do. What you and fanfiction.net have done has made a mockery of writing. It is an abomination. You come into the lives of my friends, and you turn the magic of friendship into a disgusting mockery of grammar and syntax. Writing is meant to be with well-developed characters, and you have destroyed that simple truth with your relationship with the English language. I see it dying at your hands. I see you're writing and it makes me want to vomit two don't deserve to write and you are polluting the writing world by being here that is why i hate what you are <laughs> that's, that's that's amazing wow that was, that was beautiful <clears throat> My question Thank is, you. Bob, did you rehearse that, or was that, like, on the spot? <clears throat> I, uh, I wrote that earlier. <laughs> no, it's nice. still very good. No, <laughs> that doesn't even, yeah, that doesn't even make a difference. That was fantastic. Well, I was just curious. <laughs> but, by the way, I hope you dinged the abomination and vomit when Yella did him. Also, yeah, the, yeah, of course. Also <laughs> the that. And that, yeah, yeah. yeah, of course. Many things to ding. It might just, does this chapter have any not one, not threes, or yays, or is it just gonna be all caps italics? Well, he hasn't Ooh. used an ellipses yet. We'll figure it out. I don't see one. Hmm. Well, 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 if it we'll happens, we'll it see. happens. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Jack sat back again, pondering the now panting mare in front of them. <laughs> her face was red, and her eyes were practically bulging. This was obviously a long time in coming. I agree. He merely chuckled, yeah, it then it turned into a laugh. Literally yeah. years. This took the mare back, yeah. not expecting laughter at her confession. She tried to regain some of her poise and professionalism. Yeah, she was not expecting laughter, because that's the... The stupidest thing you could be doing right yeah. now is laughing at at this. These are serious concerns. Yeah. I still expected you to treat me with respect, Drax. <laughs> yeah, <you're laughs> fucking... I don't give a shit about your concerns. I don't yeah, care your why you're actually problem. mad. <clears throat> what in Celestia's name is so funny? Drax stopped laughing almost as suddenly as he started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's pretty great. Yeah. You are rarity. You are. Got what? him. She is rarity. What, yeah. what the? What the? <laughs> <laughs> what? I think you are he rare. means you are, like, comma, rarity, comma, you are. Not like you, you are, are rarity, oh. comma, you oh. are. I was say, turn into freaking Yoda. <laughs> you are rarity. You, you are, are rarity. 
He pointed at her and <laughs> chuckled again. <laughs> <laughs> like pointing and laughing like what a dick. Yeah. No wonder she hates what you. What a baby. <laughs> what a fucking <laughs> asshole. Well, dude, I like to think that at this point, like, his oh. mind regressed to that of a child, and he's just like, <laughs> you're rarity. <laughs> <laughs> Your face. I mean, I have seen some real cliche things in my time I since coming die. to Equestria. But this one really takes the cake. Hang on, let me uh, change that sentence real quick. I have written some real cliche things <laughs> <laughs> in my time in Equestria. Yeah. Oh, also, uh, I, I also it's it, it's a kind of a minor concern because you know you do have to you know put a little effort into it, but it's that's cliche, not cliche. You know, suck a cliche. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, suck okay. A yeah. I mean, yeah. But yeah, uh, now confused even more, she shook her head and fixed him with a stare. What are you talking about? What is clish? <laughs> yeah, what is it? Don't you mean cliche? No, seriously, what are you talking about? What is clish? <laughs> what is clish? What does that word mean? I meant I to say cliche, I but I didn't have the apo the accent. Oh, okay, now I understand. Okay, yeah, sorry. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> the white pony is a bigot. So yeah, and that he burst into laughter again. Your white Drax. Oh my god. You know, Drax, that doesn't mean he's you... that wait now hang on. And he's yeah. calling her a bigot. Mm -hmm. And I guess he's right? Not right? entirely incorrect I don't know. if like, you she's... look at the pony with pony thing. Yeah, because I mean she she's he I obviously mean, styled her arguments after, you know racist you argument. Know, man shall not lie with man as he lies yeah, with woman. Or homophobic. Homophobic way, yeah. thing or racist yeah. things. Like, I, I mm -hmm. get that, but why is this even in the story? That's what I was gonna say. Like, I like, I feel like this is the worst possible place for political commentary. Yeah, like, yeah. like I mean, granted, it's, and you know what? I don't even think, like, I don't understand why you would insert this political commentary. If you want to insert political commentary, fight for something that people are will, are going to argue against. Because, uh, yeah, racism, racism is still a problem, and, like, bigotry is still a problem. That doesn't mean that most people don't already agree with you on this one. Like, yeah, well, uh, way to go. Like, That's like no, if you makes, just made a big well, deal out of saying slavery was wrong. Like, yeah, but I, most yeah, but of I mean, us agree. What I'll say to you, Drax, is it's like, um, obviously some people may associate white people more with racism or homophobia right. um, than, mm -hmm. than others, but that's white people, not white horses. When, that's if I also see a, true. The, the only thing I'd associate a white horse with, besides being a horse, is, I don't know, cocaine. I mean, I might. I'm thinking like what? Um, maybe like it, Gandalf rides a white horse. Yeah. I mean, like, like I, I mean, like, like, like metaphorically, like white yeah. people can use white horse for. And okay. you know, and you know, well, like, I, like you could, you could even sort of add like an anti-racist message to a, a show like My Little Pony. You know, teach kids that oh, no. it's okay oh, that we're all different. But there's oh, no they, point. There's arguing. no point arguing against what, a thing. That most people will will agree with you on. To, to be fair, the show itself is actually kind of racist sometimes. And that's what I was going to say. If you mm. used things in the show that you thought were actually legitimately racist, use that as your jumping off point. For instance, Celestia has to give approval for people of cross-race... Like, she has to use cross-race magics to make it possible for people to, 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 to make children and I get married. I that's the show, though, and but... I mean, if that's a thing from the show, I don't. It doesn't sound like it's, it's a thing from the show. It's but not. if it were a thing from the show, that would be a thing that you could use as a jumping-off point to to talk about racism. If you wanted to insert that social commentary, I, I I'd like to add on to what Bob said. This is really the this is really just the equivalent of stating something that everyone already agrees on, and then going, "Wow, look at me! I'm progressive." Right, I'm so progressive and forward thinking for I'm so saying, progressive and forward thinking. Look at my political my biting political commentary when all yeah. you're doing is saying something that everybody pretty much already like, yep. agrees on. Yeah. Everyone, Murder everyone, is everyone. bad and that, everyone goes yeah. Good job, Rex. Wow, I guess I should stop Sl killing people. Slavery now. should be illegal. It already is, but okay. It should be. Yeah. It is. Gay people. Gay, like gay marriage gay should people be federally are people. recognized. It should be federally recognized. Gays are people. <laughs> <laughs> like, yep. Oh my god. Look at me. I'm so politically. Uh, political yeah. commentary. <laughs> what a deep uh, thought. Um. 
Enraged, the unicorn leaped to her feet and growled between her gritted teeth. That is a filthy and disgusting word. Take it back. Well, Ooh, that was almost a full caps italics, but it wasn't. He avoided it. Not disgusting. That one he didn't avoid. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly swinging back to sober and serious again. Wow, Drax, Drax got to sober? <laughs> Hang on, we should edit this and just take that sober out because we know that's a complete lie. It's it, it's a it's it's just a phrase. <laughs> another you know another mistake. Oh, Drax, you should really edit your story. <laughs> Let's see. So yeah, back to sober and serious skin. Drax shot back. It's supposed to be a filthy and disgusting word, Miss Rarity. I only call things as I see them, Got and em. right now I see a bigot Got telling em. me that because I am not a pony, I am not worthy of her friends or the mare I love. Got him! Well, I have news <sighs> for you, Miss Rarity. Here, before before we continue, guys, I this is just carrying me up. The mare I love. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. J-R-H-N-B-R, my friends. <laughs> Yeah. Like he's like giving a serious speech, and he's like the mayor, the horse that I love. <laughs> I kiss that horse every night. The horse I love. <laughs> yeah, oh his one goes out to the horse I love. Uh, oh, God. Oh. The mayor I love. That looks so stupid. Fire. The, the, yeah. the name spat from his mouth like a curse. Your opinion is dual, he noted. I don't think it's, it's time, time to do the duel. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. is incorrect. Properly <laughs> writing, you don't use the e in duel. Yeah, it's D U L Y. I accept your honesty <sighs> and am much relieved to know how you really feel. But in the interest of our friends, I will forget what you have said here today. Wow. He held up a hoof, yeah. pointing it at her. Are you shitting uh. me? That's a threat. Don't get me wrong. I will never forgive you, but I will for now forget. What? Oh I thought the fr the phrase is forgive and forget because you're supposed to forgive first and then forget. You can't yeah, just you forget. But if you not just forgive. forget, you you have nothing to forgive because you forgot. Like, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> this makes no sense. What was I not forgiving? Also, you is about he mind again? wiping I, I... himself, or is he just saying he'll ignore it? <laughs> he's gonna ignore it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so, he might as well be saying he's mind wiping himself. So, what was the I'll point of finding out? I'll let you off with a warning, Miss Rarity, but you don't want to cross my path again. Yeah. <laughs> um, but don't you ever let it interfere with my other friends or with Pinky and me. <laughs> no end quote. He, tur yeah, well, he turned to walk out of the shop, not even looking back at the unicorn when she shouted back at him, but pausing at the door to listen. Can I Can I just say real quick, if Drax, let's just say hypothetically in this universe, Drax started abusing Pinkie Pie, like physically, verbally, sexually, however, he starts abusing her, right? Mm -hmm. Now, Rarity can't do anything about it because Drax has leverage over her. Shit. Well, yeah. Like, she says, hey... This is happening, and then Drax can just say she's racist. Yeah, or speciesist, I guess. Yeah, but I, yeah. yeah, but I mean that. I mean that doesn't do. Uh, I mean that wouldn't do him any good because he's kept his identity a secret. Remember? No, no, no. Oh, I right, mean, like, if she went to Celestia or something, then Drax goes to Celestia and says she's racist, and knowing the way Drax, Drax, the author, writes the story, she just believe him. Yeah, I mean, he's already gotten away with. He's already gotten away with gaslighting. So yeah, I he's mean, gotten a, gotten away with quite a lot. Now I he mean, has I mean, leverage over her. I'll tell I mean, the whole course, world Dra how you really mm. feel. Of course, Celestia would believe Drax because he is super honest and truthful. Always, he says. And he so. hates himself. He hates humans. And, he, and yeah. he's, but so, he's, you know, but that's, he's also that's how you get into his good. That's how but you don't get forget, into Celestia's good graces. Don't forget that he's also awesome, and all the women love him. And the women that don't love him, they get dunked on. <laughs> yeah, the women that don't love him are just racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. If you don't love me, you're a racist. Yeah. I should start wow. using that. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm brown, I can do that. <laughs> yeah, I'd say we're, we're, that's why racism was right. dead under President Obama, because it had to be. Yeah. Exactly. Like, now but that now, Trump's back, we yeah. can be racist Now that again. we got white people in the White House again. Back in the office. You yeah, guys can yeah. be racist again. <sighs> Yeah. Ugh. Sorry Ooh. for those eight years. Yeah, that was a long eight years, you know. <laughs> I had a lot that I was holding in. <laughs> wow. All right. 
Well, let me tell you something, Drax. Oh, Pinkie Pie okay. was my friend long before she met you. True. She is still my friend, True. despite what you have done to her. Mm -hmm. And if you mm -hmm. ever hurt her, I will destroy you. Uh, well, you're a little late because he's already hurt her a lot. Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, yes, I know. He already. He you're you're too late, Rarity. Rarity. I'm you're sorry. You're fucking yeah. idiot. Here, Rarity, Rarity, I feel for you, but it's too late. That's I'm like sorry. threatening Rarity. threatening robbers as they leave your shop with all your money. That's like when they're <laughs> leaving. If you like, they've got your stuff and they're walking out the door, and you're like, if you ever try robbing me, mm -hmm. like not again, <laughs> not again, just in just, general. It's not just even like again, first just time. robbing me. Yeah. If you yeah. ever try to rob me and they're walking out with all your shit. Actually, considering she's Don't not addressing... Don't even think about trying to rob me, guys. I will Cons hurt you, and they're just wandering. Well, well considering she's stuff. not talking about herself, but her friend, it's more like if she said, hey, let me tell you something. You may have robbed me, but if you ever try and rob my friend, I'm gonna hurt you. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Before leaving the shop, Jack stopped to reply. Poor, poor, lonely rarity. What? what? You really have no idea how love works? <laughs> <laughs> like Drax has any idea how love works. <laughs> if I were to ever hurt Pinkie Pie, I would destroy myself first. Oh, yeah. And we, why we, the poor, fuck do you poor, still exist? Poor, we, we poor, got... lonely rarity. You really have no idea how much power I wield. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he could, he, he also, could easily. Can I just out, say. But... Like, I like how th that's how this chapter gets to end. Well, just like the stupid edgelord phrase, if I hurt her, I'd destroy myself before guys, anyone else could. Eh. Guys, I think for the first time, I will be able to give Drax a little bit of praise without looking like an ass immediately afterwards, because he had no not one not threes in this chapter. Woo! Oh, sheesh. Oh, That is wow. a new high Woo. for you. Zero. Yeah, wow. Let's see if you can keep it up. Uh, I can already yeah. tell you that, no, they already exist yeah, in the next yeah. chapter. Okay, great. <sighs> well, right away, too. And with that, now we're on to the last quarter of the story. Oh, jeez. Finally. Yeah, oh, yeah. We have three chapters left. Time. Awakening, oh. Atonement, and A New Hope. Oh, and, and then the epilogue. The epilogue. Yeah. <clears throat> Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to say this one thing right here at the end. Uh... You've watched, you know, presumably the person listening to this has listened uh, to this point and hasn't somehow skipped directly to me speaking right now. Uh, we are still, as f at time of recording, still on to do the interview with Drax, and I'm compiling my notes on what I want to say to him and what I want to ask him. If anybody in the comments section has any questions for Drax, I'm not going to cover them all. We're not going to cover all of them. Yeah. If you ask a joke questions, we're not going to ask them, obviously. Yeah, it, it, but, it, it's serious questions, and we're not going to be, like, Right, this is a serious interview. We want to just get some insight into, into, into Drax, yeah. the author. We, so We don't want to just attack him. We're not we accusing really him, we're not attack attacking him. him. I just want to get to get, you know, kind of get to know his mindset and, and, and get to know the guy. So if you, you have any questions an to ask, we wish I mean, to gain an ask any question you want. Just understand that we're not gonna we're not gonna ask him every question, and uh, mm. just throw those down in the comment section, and we can we we'll look through those. Um, and obviously, after we've if we do end up doing the interview and that ends up going through, obviously, then there would be no point asking those questions anymore. So stop at that point. <laughs> but I guess yeah. in the description we'll say when we've recorded the interview, so you can stop asking your stupid questions. Thanks so much oh, for amazing. watching. Uh, we have a Discord and uh, and also an Amino that we barely use. Uh, <laughs> then the <laughs> links are in the description. If either of those things interest you, you can come hang out with us on the Discord. We're on there uh, most days. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't yeah. say that we barely use the Amino. I'd say we never use them. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Fair enough. So thanks so much for watching. With that, thank you and uh, good night. Yeah.